Knowing your audience is, is critical because especially doing social and in building a business or a community, uh, it really informs pretty much everything else you're going to do. Um, it decides you know, who your target demographic is, who you're trying to sell to, uh, what kind of content you're going to create and where you publish it, um, as well as you know, what kind of feedback and where you're going to get it for how you're going to build your product and you know, who is going to become part of your community and how you are eventually going to manage them and partner with them and, and grow your business that way. It's amazing how when we're building businesses we forget um, that yes, we are just people and we are engaging with other people. Um, and you know, yes, people, we want them to become our customers or our user base, but they are just other people as well. So it's an interesting phenomenon how you know, you'll suddenly develop this strange stilted corporate speak or um, you'll be worried about what people will say about you, even though it doesn't necessarily reflect how, how folks act online. And you really need to remember that you are working with, talking to, selling to other people. Um, because that it affects what kind of content you create, how you message things, um, and even what, what you're building to sell and, and are people going to want that. Um, so you, you really can start thinking about a market in terms of how would I react to that. One of the things that people hear when they mention that they're community managers or social strategists is, oh, you get to play on the internet all day. Uh, which is not really true. Um, perhaps in the beginning, social was really undefined and people were figuring out how to do it. But we understand how social works. We understand how social marketing works. And most sites, and there are many other broader tools that handle a lot of different sites, have their own analytics now. And social is just another marketing channel. And you can determine what's effective, what's being engaged with, um, how it's leading to establishing your, your goals and conversions of people actually buying what you have to sell. Uh, so you can't really just say, you know, there is no way to determine the ROI of social. Certainly there are kind of ephemeral things like building relationships, but in terms of determining what, you, what doing social is costing you and what it's getting you, the actual physical you know, monetary ROI, it is possible to determine that these days. And it's important for companies to learn just as much as learning about their finances or you know, building tech. The interesting thing with a startup is that it is almost a different company and different employees from day to day. Um, you know, pre-launch you're trying to figure out what you're going to build, who you're going to build it for, and your, your work is very different. It's getting something out into the world. Um, as you grow, you're going to have to start focusing on, on your customers and what they want. So, you know, even especially a job like community management or, or social strategy, first you're starting out with, okay, what should we do? Then you're figuring out where should we do it and who is our target? And then you develop all these people who are paying attention to you and they have needs as well. So as much as you are developing your products and your services, you are also developing your customer experience, essentially, and figuring out um, you know, who you're going to be in, in six months and, and your roadmap, not only for your social strategy, um, but your customer relationships and your influencer relationships and things like that. So you really have to be okay with change and understand that over time, what you do, what your company does, may not resemble what you did a year ago, and that's okay. Um, obviously, if it's not being successful, you're gonna need to change, but if it is, you know, you kind of roll with it and, and as much as you can, you give people what they're looking for. The thing with community is that even for a startup, if you haven't launched anything yet, you are already part of a community. Uh, you are part of the startup community and entrepreneur community. And as you grow and obviously hopefully develop customers and, and relationships that way, you develop your own community that is based around who you are and what you do. Um, and it ties into the whole remembering that we are all just people trying to do business here is that you know you you want something from them, they want something from you, but at the same time, it doesn't have to be you know, cold-hearted, you can actually develop relationships and it makes it much more interesting because over time, you know, you can help folks out and they'll potentially help you out. Um, yes, it grows your business, but it's also good for, for you personally. Um, and it's really just, a, a, it's an ecosystem essentially and, and, you know, healthy ecosystems, you want them in nature and they're just as important in business. It's where your mentorship comes from, it's where your potential customers come from, it's where crazy new ideas come from.